My name is Patricia Choi. I was born and raised in Hong Kong. I have just turned 39 years old. I was trained as an interior designer, but now I run this place called Wantani. So usually morning is quite relaxing for me. I have a two-year-old son, so I would spend some time with him in the morning because he wakes up very early. This building was built by my grandfather in the early 70s, in the middle of Nagot Joy and Samshui Po. Prince Edward is the closest MTR station. In the morning, you will see a lot of people commuting because it's mainly working class here. The concept of the hostel came in 10 years ago when I was traveling as a backpacker in my 20s. I just felt like there wasn't any interesting hostel in Hong Kong at that moment. So I wanted to have a nicer experience for backpackers or people traveling with a budget. I called it Wan Tan Min, like something very Hong Kong and something very warm, something that reminds one about your home in Hong Kong. So I want everyone, including mainland Chinese, Taiwanese, or someone who doesn't understand Chinese language, to speak Cantonese or try speaking Cantonese. This room is the common area for the whole building. So anyone upstairs, they could come down anytime. We sometimes have gatherings, like we watch B-movies together, play ping pong or play darts or to have a kitchen party. I was working in corporate interiors for 10 years. It was getting very boring, so I wanted to do something that I truly have passion for. I renovated some studio apartments for friends or friends of friends who happened to be in the creative industry. I'm trying to create a platform for individuals or creatives where they could exchange ideas, focus on making their artworks. I always encourage tenants to find something or to pursue what they really like doing rather than just, just ask them to pay rent. Because I started this from scratch, with no experience in hospitality. I think I've been trying to provide this very unique viewpoint of Hong Kong, and I can't do it in anywhere else in the world, and I don't want to do it in anywhere else in the world.